How has roughing the passer changed in the last, let's say, 15 years? I think it's, yeah, it used to be just about uh, just the timing, like kind of, hey, the ball is released. You had like, was it within a step? If he takes two steps and then hits you, um, you know, it would, it would be you know, roughing the passer. Um, you know, then it kind of changed and say hey, no hits to the to the helmet. And which, you know, trying to with the concussions, everything all made sense. Hey, you can't just dive. You can't even have your hand hit the helmet. And then it's kind of turned into the, you know, driving into the ground, uh, eliminating that. Um, but, you know, it's it's hard. And I think any time you start, um, you know, kind of getting, hey, the judgment, did he drive into him? Did he hit into him? Guys are competitive. They're trying to strap. You know, strip the ball, sack, make sure they wrap up, but and make a tackle. It's uh, I, I see it. It's hard, hard on the defense, hard on the refs on some of these calls. Um, and you know, you can go super slow mo and see, hey, that he didn't really drive into him, or can you toss him? Can you swing him? You know, it, it's very judgmental, and, and and I think it's hard to hard to officiate. Okay, would you be in favor of replay? Um, I think you could, I, I think I'd be in favor of replay to see whether, Hey, that was, that was truly a, um, uh, you know, a foul, uh, just because it's such a big play. A lot, I mean, you gotta think of it, a lot of the times it's, it's third down and, you know, it's whether, you know, it's like a turnover, basically it's whether, Hey, you're getting the ball back or 15 yards first down. I mean, that, that's a huge play. You get someone an extra 15 yards and a first down, I think you know the chances of, of, of points being scored is going to go way up after that, and so um, I'd be okay with replay just because it, it it becomes such a huge play. The pass you had to David Tyree wouldn't have happened. You would have been in the grasp. They probably would have tried to protect you. I'm going to guess. No, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't agree. <laughs> with you, man. I think that, was, that was clean. I think four, fourth qu- fourth quarter Super Bowl two minute drive. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they're going to call in in the grass right there at, at that moment. I think uh, they, they would know I'd be willing to take a hit for uh, a few extra an extra second to get out of there. Once again, people call it the catch, and I call it the throw, the scramble. So, but so just want to let you know. But do th- is there preferential treatment? that we see this with the NBA. We see this with baseball, sometimes with pitchers uh, or batters. Is there preferential treatment when it comes to calls in the NFL? Well, I mean, I think, um, I mean, I think of it this way of like, you know, I mean, Brady, he's just, he's 44. He's not 22. It's like, you know, he's an old man out there. You're kind of like, Oh, that's going to hurt him. He looks a little frail. You know, it's not like Josh (laughs) Allen, who's like 200, 50 pounds and th- you know it's like you can't toss him around you can't move him that much and so you know maybe with the you know, a smaller guy it looks like it's a much bigger hit and therefore they can call call a grounding but um you know I think it's like hey we got to take care of this guy he's been been around we don't want him to get hurt so I, I don't think there is like on purpose I don't think a ref saying hey I'm gonna I'm really gonna protect this guy it just it just might look differently uh a hit on some quarterbacks than others